Hello guys. Today we're talking mouse sensitivity, DPI and mouse settings. Now if you're like me from a couple of years ago, you would just convert your sensitivity between games by measuring the same 360 distance with your mouse and that will be the same sensitivity in the next game, right? Wrong. Well, not always, but depending on how the FOV is set up in each game that you play, you might end up with a very wrong feeling sensitivity. In this video, I will explain everything from picking a mouse sensitivity, converting mouse sense between games, which DPI to use, and other settings. I'm also going to explain why you should use a sensitivity calculator, and all the topics will be timestamped in the description. If you already have a chosen sensitivity, I recommend skipping to the part about calculators and monitor distance. If you learn anything from this video, be sure to subscribe as I have a ton of settings guides just like this one to help you in future. If you have any advice for others or think I might be explaining something wrong, then let me know in the comments. First, let's talk mouse settings. Now before we do anything, we need to turn off Windows mouse acceleration. So you go to your Windows search bar, type in mouse, go to mouse settings, select additional mouse options, Open the pointer options tab and then turn off this enhanced mouse precision setting. Most of you already did this, but for anyone else that didn't or you forgot, you just fix some mouse acceleration that might have been ruining your aim. Up next, make sure your mouse is set to a DPI between 400 and 800. You can always change this later and later I'll explain why you might want to set it to 1600, but that's after we use the sensitivity calculator. 400 or 800 will allow us to change sensitivity in smaller increments. If your mouse lets you change polling rate, use the highest available, but 1000 Hz is usually the most compatible. With that done, we can finally try and find the sensitivity. Now I've probably changed my sensitivity around 10 times in my 18 year PC gaming career. 10 years ago, I was a high sense player and I had a 7 cm 360 turn. Yikes. Slowly through the years, my sensitivity has gotten lower and lower until I finally reach what I feel is the peak of my sensitivity at 45 centimeters with 110 FOV, where I can accurately snap and track targets with the most consistency without running out of desk space. And that's where we're going to start today. The first thing you need to do is look at how much desk space you have to work with. If you only have enough space for a small mouse pad, then you'll probably have a relatively high mouse sensitivity. After analyzing a few graphs of average player sensitivities across a variety of games, it seems the overall average for a 360 degree turn is about 30 centimeters, which is conveniently the exact length of an A4 piece of paper. If your mouse space is smaller than that, then good luck. So first, open up your favorite FPS game, I chose Apex Legends because it's free to play and it has a firing range that's offline. And then you'll want to set your FOV as this is important. I would personally set this around 100 to 110 horizontal FOV. But if you want a more in-depth guide about FOV settings, I have a full video on it linked above and below. Then we're going to find a flat area of the map and an easy to remember point to look at. We're then going to line up the point with our crosshair and drag the mouse horizontally along the paper until we hit 30 centimeters. Keep doing this until you reach the point and the end of the paper roughly at the same time. It doesn't need to be exact. Now, from here, either play offline in a target range, use an aim trainer, or play some multiplayer matches to see how it feels. We're just focusing on hip fire aim, not aim down sight sense. If you feel like you can't be accurate because the crosshair moves too fast, then lower the sensitivity. However, if you feel like you're constantly lifting your mouse back to the center or running out of space, then raise your sensitivity. If you want to aim more with your wrist, then a sensitivity between 10 and 30 centimeters is reasonable. If you want to aim more with your arm, then a sensitivity around 30 to 45 centimeters makes the most sense. This might take a couple of hours, but hopefully after lots of small adjustments, you have a baseline sensitivity that feels comfortable. Now that you have your chosen sensitivity, how do we convert that sensitivity to other games so that we have the same consistency across every game that we play? As I showed in the intro, you could just measure the distance again with a ruler or measuring tape, but that's not the best way to do it. You should be using a sensitivity converter and monitor distance as your method. 
and that's because FOV plays a bigger part in aiming than you would expect. For example, here I am playing Modern Warfare at 120 FOV with a 45cm 360. I'm aiming at a target only a short distance on my screen. This is extreme, but then I change my FOV to 60 and aim at the same target. My 360 distance is still the same, but look how much further I'm aiming at my target from the center to the edge of my screen. Monitor distance basically adjusts your sensitivity so the same movement on your mouse is the same distance on your monitor. This is what creates consistency when moving games and changing FOV. So what if I find the same FOV value from Warzone and put it into Apex and then measured my 360? Well, that would be fine if 90 FOV in Apex was actually 90 FOV. Apex's 90 FOV value is actually 105 horizontal FOV. But it doesn't tell you that, I only know because the sensitivity calculator told me. So this is why you would want to use a sensitivity calculator instead of just hoping that the values are correct. This is actually an issue with Battlefield games also. Did you know that if you play max FOV, which is supposed to be 120 in Battlefield 5, you're actually playing at 133 horizontal FOV. Watch out for this when converting for 2042. There are a few games and a few sensitivity calculators online, but the one I use is called mousesensitivity.com. This website's owner goes through and calculates the sensitivity for all the popular FPS games so you can accurately convert your sensitivity without you having to calculate it yourself or physically measure the distance. Now they even have the option to do the 360 conversion method on this calculator, but today I want to convert you to the monitor distance method. This basically makes it so whatever monitor size, FOV settings or DPI you use, everything should feel the same in your mouse movement distance. You simply search for the game that you're comfortable with, for most people this will currently be Warzone, Apex or Battlefield, and then you enter your current settings from that game into each box. And then you find the game that you want to convert it to. Now different games can have multiple variables that can affect your sensitivity, such as uniform soldier aiming in Battlefield or ADS FOV options like Warzone, usually there'll be notes for this underneath the calculations. Once you've filled out the forms as best you can, you can pick whether you want to use in-game settings or config file settings. Scroll down and you can see what values you will need to put into the settings to get the right sensitivity compared to the original game. But what if your aim down sight sensitivity is different to your hipfire sensitivity? Well, you can change the aim drop-down menu in the first and second game, and this will give you the values to put in your ADS settings. I used to have two different sensitivities, one for hip fire and one for aim down sight. But honestly, I would recommend everyone try out a one-to-one -one hip fire to ADS sense. It's made me a lot more consistent over time. This sensitivity calculator is also perfect for converting sense within the same game when changing FOV settings. I know a lot of Warzone players change their FOV a lot. This also works for DPI settings that we'll be getting into later. Simply set the same game in both the input drop-down boxes and then alter the FOV value in the second section of the calculator. This way you can make your aim feel the same regardless of the FOV or DPI within the same game. Now we know how to change our sensitivities, let's talk about why you would want to use 1600 DPI over anything lower. I personally used to use 400 DPI myself until I saw this research done by the YouTuber Battle Nonsense. He has a whole video about how changing from 400 DPI to 1600 DPI might reduce your mouse latency by up to 5 milliseconds. It might not sound like a lot, but it's a huge amount when talking about input lag. You can watch his video linked in the description down below. Obviously, if the game that you play cannot reach your desired sensitivity, then stick with your original DPI. But a lot of games also have config files that allow you to change the sensitivity within the files. For example, I use 1600 DPI on Battlefield, but the in-game settings won't go low enough for me to reach the precise sensitivity I need. Luckily, the mouse sensitivity website tells me where I can find the config file folders to adjust the settings to the exact values. If you're someone that cares about input lag and input latency, this is an absolute must. 
And that just about wraps it up. And if this video helped you, please make sure to like and subscribe to help the algorithm show this to others. This took a lot of time to plan and create, and I'll be making plenty of guides in future. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.